Hey guys, you pick up your Pentax camera with your nice DA star lens, you go to take a shot and your autofocus no longer works. Let's figure out how to fix the dreaded SDM issue with the screw drive conversion. Okay guys, so we're going to show you how to convert your Pentax DA star lens to use the screw drive autofocus versus the SDM. Now there is a couple things that we need to download in order for this to work. So the first thing that we're going to need is PK Tether. You're also going to need Notepad++ or another text editor. So first of all, let's start with PK Tether. So with PK Tether, there's a link that we're going to follow here. And I'll have the link in the description below, but this is just going to go to a Google Drive and it's going to say there's a problem with the preview. That's perfectly fine. Just click on the download button. So what this is going to do is download the program for us. As you can see right here, we're going to save it. And just close out that blank page and we're going to open it. Okay, so there's our application right there. We'll leave that be for a moment. The next thing that we're gonna need is we are going to need Notepad++. So to download Notepad++, you just go to notepad-plus-plus.org and download their latest version. You can download the 32-bit or the 64-bit. After you have Notepad++ installed, we're gonna need to open PK Tether, and to do so, all we need to do is double click and hit Extract All. We're going to extract it into our folder, and then we can close this out. We can close out this browser and open up our file manager. We'll go down to where we have it, and there's our open file, and we'll double click and hit run. Just click OK, and there is PK Tether. Now at this point, we're going to need to plug in the camera with the default USB cable that was supplied to you and we'll show you how to get the camera into debug mode. Okay, let's plug in our camera to the USB cable. Today I'm going to be using the K5 IIS along with the Pentax DA Star 50-135 2.8. What you want to do is plug in your supplied USB cable to the computer and it should look something like this. Now, you want to open the side door here and right here where it says PC slash AV, we want to be able to plug in this cable. By doing so and turning our camera on, PK Tether should automatically recognize our camera and be able to put it into debug mode. Let's see how that works. Okay, so now that we're inside of PK Tether and we've got our camera connected, we need to turn our camera on. Now if you look up here where it says settings, camera, and lens, nothing is showing. But the second we turn our camera on, it should automatically pop right up. Now it's going to open up this other file manager, but we can just minimize that for now. As you can see now, we have the Pentax K5 IIS with the Pentax DA Star 50135 2.8. What we need to do is click on the debug mode and turn it to on. Now once we've set the debug mode to on, it'll say PC vendor on our camera really quick, and we'll show you exactly where to go to verify that it is indeed into the debug mode. Okay, so we are back here at the camera. We just put the camera into debug mode. Now if we hit menu and scroll over, you gotta scroll all the way past custom. Now you can see we're in test mode. Now there's nothing in here that we really need to do at this point. I just wanted to show you uh, how to confirm that you actually are in debug mode so that we can move on to the next step. So let's see that over at the computer. Okay, now that we've confirmed that we're in debug mode on the camera, we need to download a couple additional files to be able to actually get us into the proper menu that we need to go into. We're going to have another link to follow so we can just minimize PK Tether at this moment and minimize that. Our last and final file that we need to grab is for our specific camera. Again, the Dropbox link will be in the description below. And since we're using the K52S, we want to make sure that we navigate to that specific folder. Now there are two files that we need to download here. So what we're going to do is click on download and just do direct download. Now these will download the files directly to where we saved our PK Tether and we can just hit view downloads to make sure that they did indeed download. Okay, so to verify that they are there, we will go over here to the PK Tether into our downloads folder. You'll see a K5 IIS folder. You'll want to right click, extract all or seven zip it uh, and just extract files, click OK. Now, here's our two files that we need. Now remember, when PK Tether had opened up that additional uh, file manager for us to the root of our 
SD card. So what we can do is open up the root of our SD card, take these two files and drag them right over into the root. Now once that is done, we can turn the camera off and then we will be able to get into the proper menu that we need to grab the lens profile so that we can tweak it to use the screw drive versus the SDM motor. We'll show you that now back at the camera. Okay, so we're back here at the camera. What we need to do is turn the camera off. We need to unplug the cable for now and turn the camera back on without holding any additional buttons. And it should put us directly into a menu that will allow us to actually grab the lens profile of our specific lens on the camera. So you can see we're in development menu one. What we want to do is to scroll up until you get to the lens ROM data camera to the SD card. Now at this point, all you need to do is hit OK. And what it's going to do is it's going to write the lens profile directly over to our SD card that is on our camera. Now at this point, we can just turn the camera off. We can open up our SD card slot and pull out our SD card. So in this instance here, we're using the SanDisk Ultra 64 gigabyte. And this is where you'll need to plug in your SD card into the SD card reader that you have, either with your laptop or with your desktop. Now, in this instance, I'm using a desktop. So what we're going to use is a multi-reader here. We're just going to plug that into the SD card reader slot and we'll move back to the computer so that we can see exactly what needs to be done with this. Okay, so now that we're back over at our computer, you can see that it opened up yet another file manager for us. And you can see this new file here called Lensseep. And this is going to be your LNS file or your lens profile file. So what we need to do is we need to edit it with the Notepad++. I'm gonna use Dreamweaver in this instance, but it is identical. Any text editor will work just fine. All you need to know is that you need to change the exact settings that I change and whatever editor you prefer to use. Notepad++ just happens to be free where Dreamweaver is not. So what we're going to do is double click this and open it up and you can see this long list of columns and rows and numbers that makes no sense to pretty much anybody. So everything that we are interested in is in column three. Now column three, everything that is in a C0 needs to be changed to an 8-0 in order to get this to work. So you see here where it says C0, that needs to be an 8-0. C0 needs to be an 8-0. Now there's 40 of these instances throughout this entire file. So the easiest way to do this is to control F to find. Um, and you can find all the C zeros just like so. So you can find all of them and it'll show you all of the different C zeros and exactly where they reside. Now, if we want to replace all of these, it's really simple. All we need to do is go back to that control find again, and we want to replace it with eight zero. Now there is a couple different places in here where that is not exactly the case. Okay, so there's exactly two instances where in column five, there is a C0 and not an eight zero. So what we need to do when we replace all of these is to make sure that those are not changed. They need to remain at C0 in column five. Only column three should be changed C0 to eight zero. Okay, so the first instance of this is going to be in column 03E0. So if you go down here, column 03E0 over here in column 5, so this is column 3, 4, and 5, you can see this is a C0 and it needs to remain as such. The next column is 07E0. So we need to scroll down to 07E0, which is right here. And again, in column five, it is C0 and it needs to remain as such. So we're going to replace all of these. So just hit replace all. And this will be the exact same over in Notepad++. We just need to make sure that we go back to column 07E0 and change that back to a C0. And then we also need to come back up here to column 03E0. So we need to come back up to 03E0 to column five and change this back to C0. Now, this is very, very, very important. You want to make sure that you keep a copy or a backup of your original lens profile before you commit the changes. So the best way to do this is to go to file and then go to save as versus save. Now this will allow you to create a completely separate file anywhere you want on your computer. So in this instance here, I'm just gonna go back to the Linux um, one here 
and we'll call it Linseed and hit save and hit yes okay so now that is saved but it has not changed my original file if I close this out and come back over here to this and open it again this is my original we will see exactly what I'm talking about now what you can do is copy this really quick and then come over here to like your uh, desktop or something and you can paste a copy of this profile right there so we're back on our desktop just to show you the copy that we made that it wasn't modified so we'll double click on that and open it back up and you can see all of our C zeros are still there instead of eight zeros on column three so again it's very very important that we keep a backup of the original lens profile somewhere on your computer hard drive in the cloud does not matter just keep a copy of it and then what you want to do is head back over to your root of your SD card. So we'll go back to this PC and then we'll go back over to the K52S and we can delete this profile here. We can come back into where we save the modified one and copy it. And then we will paste the now modified lens uh, profile into the SD card. Now you just want to make sure that you eject the SD card. So we'll come over here and we'll eject the USB mass storage device and we'll head back over to the camera and show you exactly what everything looks like. Okay. So now that we're back at the camera, we're going to take our SD card and we are going to plug it in to our camera. So we have put the modified lens profile back onto this card into the root. We'll plug it in, turn it on again without hitting any buttons. And it should bring us right back into that special menu. So what we want to do is hit the up button until we get to this right here. So now we're going to go to the top one where it says lens ROM dat SD to camera. So before we use the lens ROM dat camera to SD, this time we're going to use the top one and actually write from the SD card into the camera itself. So at this point, all we have to do is hit OK. Now this is where it's going to get really fun. It's going to say wait and then it's going to run through all the numbers for us. And uh, if it fails, it's okay. Turn the camera back off, turn it back on, and try it again. Turn it back off, turn it back on. Let's try it one more time. It looks like it might have failed. So SD card to camera. We'll have it say wait and try it again. We'll see what it does. There we go. So it may fail the first time and may have a little fit. There it is, all done. So to exit out, all you have to do is hit menu, hit menu again, hit menu again, and now we are back into the main menu. So at this point, the camera should be using the screwdrive autofocus versus the SDM. And you can hear the difference. We need to get out of debug mode really fast. So we're going to go to debug mode, disable, click the right arrow button and hit disable and click OK. Now we are back out of debug mode. We can come back into the main camera and we will test the autofocus to see if it is now in fact using the screwdrive versus using the SDM motor. Okay, so now that we've got our SDM motor here converted over to screwdrive, let's see how well it performs. So to verify, we're going to zoom back out we're going to put this to infinity and we're going to try to point it over there at the contrasty part between my door frame and my door so you can see that we have successfully converted it to the screwdrive motor now the screwdrive is built into the camera so it's going to be faster than sdm and it's also going to be louder as you can see so we have successfully converted our Pentax 50 to 135 2.8 DA star lens over to the screwdrive rather than SDM. It's a rather simple process and all you got to do is repeat the steps to get it back. Uh, just make sure that you grab your original copy file that you created and take it, put it back on the root of the SD card and you're able to bring it back into the SDM. So I hope that helps and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe and like, and we'll see you next time. Hi everyone, thanks for watching our videos. If you want more tips, tricks, and tutorials, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and to turn on notifications. 
You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and don't forget our blog. If you want to view more videos, just click the links on the screen now. Thank you.